Southern Sydney Derby. This one here. One of the most celebrated derbies in the NRL. St George Illawarra. One of the most popular rugby league sides anywhere in the world. When you look at their magnificent history, there's more expectation on all of the Dragons who wear the famous jumper. The Cronulla Sutherland Sharks. The pale blue and the black and the white, the undisputed underdog. It has been a remarkable journey. It's 1967 and the Sharks have just joined the comp. The Cronulla is their first. The Dragons have won 11 straight premierships. Dragons with a glamour club. And the Sharks encroached on their players and territory. St George win the comp again in 1977 and 79. George has won the grand final and the 1979 championship. Cementing the Sharks' role as the underdog. It was the late, great Jack Gibson that said waiting for a Cronulla Premiership is like leaving the porch light on for Harold Holt. Fast forward to 1997. This year it's even bigger. It's 20 years since Greece. The game torn apart by Super League. The first Super League Grand Final ever. Third Grand Final for the Sharks. And as yet without victory. Bring on the game. In 1999, the Illawarra Steelers merged with St George and the rivalry started to heat up again. A little bit of a dust up in back play. Beautiful step by Blackrock. Peachy's over. He's away. Mundine. He goes down there and scores. A chance to be a level. It's 18 points to 16. Bartramal. He's missed it. Some jostling out there, but Cronulla have beaten the Dragons. Following the match, Shark CEO Peter Gow, dining at the club restaurant, ripped a Dragon supporter's jersey off him and cut it into pieces with a pair of scissors. He took the jumper off and he proceeded back towards the front desk and got a pair of scissors and cut up the jumper in front of, I don't know, Miami, the seat in the restaurant, 200 people, I suppose. Former Dragons forward Barry Beath attempted to intervene and was punched by Gow. To do what he did, that really, you know, got my back up and that's how the incident all started. Gal was sat, but the Sharks went on to claim the minor premiership before meeting the Dragons in the preliminary final. Yes, the Sharks taken out by Captain Andrew Eddinghausen. Mundine! The ball is on the ground. Clark will give it. He points to the spot. Brown again. And the kick is a chance. And it's a try! And it's not often you see David Peachy outlet. Mundine! He's away and scores. There she goes. There goes another one. A late penalty try gave that year's grand final to the Melbourne Storm. Since then, the clashes have produced some spiteful affairs. Oh, and Russian Campbell's over. the Dragons met the Roosters in the grand final. Looking left, looking right, having a little go. Young will score! Well, this Dragons brand is steeped in history and, you know, we go back to the 60s and 70s where they won titles, haven't won since 79, but it is the first for the Illawarra Steelers. In 2016, it looked as if the Premiership drought would finally be broken when the Sharks clashed with the Storm in the decider. A clock that's been ticking for 50 long years. 14 to 12. Smith gets it away to Crunk. Crunk's got Corabetti with him. Have they got a chance here? Corabetti's put down. The siren sounds. Cronulla have won it. You can turn the light out now. Cronulla, Premiers in 2016. Will the rivalry reignite? Only time will tell.